Aileen Johnston is here from Northern Ireland. She's still jet lagged and trying to capsulize what I truly believe could be a mini series. So we're we're skipping a whole lot of not just unfaithfulness with that first husband, but frightening physical abuse. And you are now in social housing. Uh, shocking that you were accused of getting yourself there mm -hmm. by leaving the abuse. We. Uh, your nine-year-old daughter, you have two daughters, mm -hmm. your nine-year-old attempts to take her life. Yeah. I think the unfortunate thing for children who are in a part of a family that there's abuse and a lot of arguments going on, they don't know what's happened and they can't, they can't reason it out in any way. And, and she was very upset and tried to take her life, yes. So I, eventually I was able to get her help and what happened was she was admitted um, to a hospital. But because I left her in the hospital, um, she refused to speak to me and I used to have to go up every day and watch her through a two-way mirror and see her playing away. But she just refused to speak and to see me. And all I could think was, do you know, here is somebody I love so much I would do anything for and yet she won't speak to me. And very clearly God said to me, Aileen, that's exactly what you did to me. I love you so much, I died for you and you refused to speak to me. And that was such a turning point for me. I rededicated my life to the Lord and things just changed and got better. Isn't that precious really. Oh it is. How mm -hmm. clearly God gave you that imagery, mm -hmm. that metaphor for your own rebellion out of your hurt. Yeah. You thought God didn't care. Yes. Sure didn't seem to be coming through for you so we're not talking. And his love reached you. Mm -hmm. The next chapters in this mini series <laughs> are absolutely um, a wow you went back to church, you met your second husband. I love that your youngest daughter asked him if, when he was going to marry you. They fell in love with him too. They did, yes. And you know, God says in his word that he'll restore the years the locusts have eaten, those wasted years. You really cooperated with him in getting as equipped as you possibly could to minister to the church. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, I, I recognized so much that there are so many hurting women, especially women out there who are going through so many troubles and just want their lives to be different. And I thought, you know, if I can show what God has done in my life, how he's changed me from this card, timid woman into somebody that is happy and content to tell others, this is what he did. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. He turned up in amazing ways, gave me a strength and a purpose, and I wanted to learn how, how, can I, how can I do it, how can I share it? And I got involved in my church, um, became active, you know, opportunities that God put in my way, I stepped into them, and here I am today. Pastoral care ministry, pre preaching, you, you, you preach uh, part of the vision team there. You lead monthly ladies Bible studies. Uh, I want to read what your pastor said. Um, this is at uh, Calvary Pentecostal Church in Newton Abbey. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it, right? It is. <laughs> I, I had an Irishman help me with that. Um, your pastor, Stephen Trimble says, that your desire is to be fully equipped to serve God in the church family and wider Give us a vision of what you want to see in your nation. Do you know, Ireland, because of its history, is a troubled nation. And very much, you know, uh, the harvest field is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And I want to see women especially equipped and empowered to be able to share the gospel to share how God has moved in their lives and changed their lives and brought them hope, brought them security, brought them a purpose, brought them a vision. And it's only then whenever we have that in our lives that it can impact on others. Mm. And people see it and they see what you have and they think, you know, I want that. I want that for myself. Thank you for shining for him. Thank you. What a beautiful, beautiful story. Have a wonderful time while you're with us, Aileen, and I hope we'll see you again. I hope so. Thank you, Maria.
don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back.